get numbers, not getting a moment to breathe, a moment to reflect on that loss he had to Venia, because he has to go right away into uh, this match with Frozen. Similar to what we saw last game, Numbers putting himself on the ledge. And true that, uh, it's true that uh, Palutena doesn't exactly have that <laughs> like literal counter uh, that Greninja has, but what she does have is amazing hitboxes, fantastic coverage at the ledge. Right, good patience from Numbers. Just waiting and then throwing out that get up attack. I think he actually specifically waited for the move to happen because get up attack might, or the ledge attack might not have reached while Palutena was charging down smash. That's something that, you know, possibly in another timeline, we, or maybe on, we can see whether uh, that was the game plan that Frozen had with that down smash. Ooh, the crouch from Wii Fit. You gotta love it. At least when uh, it's reflected at her height, she can crouch underneath it. And John Numbers has played against so many reflectors over his lifetime that, yeah, he is ready on instinct to just crouch. Oh! Speaking of the crouch, that's another thing that's really good against Palutena in general. We were saying before how she could kind of struggle against shorter characters like Squirtle and Wii Fit's crouch is one of, if not the lowest crouches in the game. So just makes it so much harder for her to, you know, actually position herself for a good hit. And oh man, look at this from numbers right now. 54% deep breathing helping out so much in terms of making all of those tilts connect. Finally managing to land a back air. But Frozen has not found a way to actually end this stock. Right as I say that, finds the other back air, catching the roll on to let off of ledge. That means that now we have two stocks apiece, but Numbers has deep breathing in effect and has a huge percent lead. Oh man, but let's not forget about that. Damage output. Look at this, 63% already, and Numbers isn't even out of the woods. 71, and it grows every instant. Ooh, what a tech. That could have been really bad for Frozen, but managing to at least stay a little bit in control. Finally, Numbers managing to get the advantage for himself, but not quite a stock, and that means that things can get dangerous. Back throw is not enough quite yet. Deep breathing is once again a factor. He has access to kill throws or just the F tilt. Great job with the baiting him and managing to spot dodge the hit. Gets a F tilt in response. John Numbers looking pretty good here, at least for this game one. Down from back in. <laughs> that one didn't even look like that great DI, but John apparently didn't need it. He's at 133% and continuing to live. Okay, Palutena, I I don't know if Wii Fit can normally crouch under Palutena's grab. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, but nonetheless, now numbers. He is in the driver's seat. 140% on his body, but that's 115 and only one stock. I'm managing to down, managing to crouch underneath that dash attack. Punishes with the F tilt. I am really excited to see John Numbers weave it again because it is looking pretty clean. Managing to do some great work against Frozen here. I believe winner of this manages to get to. Uh, winner of this makes it to loser semis. Loser semis, okay. Which will wait on the winner of Silvio versus the winner of Ray and Riggs. Oh, Jen's out. Yeah, Jen lost to Ray. Wow, Jen didn't get top eight. No, he got ninth. Yeah, no, he got uh, 13. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fight. Don't make me feel bad. <laughs> Listen, numbers are hard. I haven't seen a bracket in like seven months. I will get people to uh, recognize brackets by just 
like glancing at it. It's the last thing I ever do. All right, we got the character switch. And now we have Peach, which is, of, of course, another character that Frozen has played quite a bit of. Maybe a little less, but I think that in terms of being able to just bust it out as a counter pick, absolutely. Um, in terms of why you would want to switch this to this Peach, uh, it felt like the crouch was a big problem for him as Palutena. And Peach, you're noticing that he's doing a lot of these low-to-the-ground aerials, meaning that although Peach can also struggle against short characters, she definitely has more options and more versatility against them than, say, Palutena would. Ooh, extending the hitbox on that down air and then finishing things off with a nice, clean forward tilt. And a, oh, man. We, we, yeah, that last time, that backwards hit of F tilt at low percents, John has been able to get tons of damage off of it. Maybe uh, Frozen isn't quite expecting the, not exactly priority, but feels like these Wii Fit Trainer moves are actually managing to beat out the Peach moves pretty consistently. <gasps> what a beautiful tech, keeping himself alive. No, he didn't. I must have buffered a back air and that put him below the ledge. This is now looking very grim for Frozen. He's at 15% on his last stock and he hasn't quite found his footing yet. He needs to take out, at the very least, this first stock from John Numbers, or else things are going to get really dicey really quick. All right. Still not a great position, of course, but... Ooh. Neat. Uh, at least there is sort of a path to victory that Frozen can tread down. It's just a matter of whether John will let him. Oh, this is going to be big. 98% and it seems to keep growing. That's like a thing about John Numbers, the way he sets up his moves, the way he baits the opponent. So many people are unfamiliar with the exact hitboxes or the whole frame data on Wii Fit Trainer. John knows this and he's able to capitalize by baiting people and they're finding the punish on that side B. Forward smash closes out the set. John looking pretty good despite losing to Venia just a moment ago. He's gonna be in loser semis waiting on the next match.